In today's video, I'm going to be breaking down what I believe to be probably the best blitz in Madden NFL 21, especially because of its flexibility to be used against the run as well as against the pass. Um, it's not from Dime 146. It's from the Nickel 335 Odd. Um, now, if you've never been to my channel before, what we do here is we post Madden 21 tips and tricks every single day on our channel. Um, so what I would encourage you to do is go ahead and click that subscribe button at the bottom right-hand corner of your screen. Um, if you want to get access to more tips and tricks like this one. Now, the blitz we're about to break down is very effective. Uh, in my opinion, it might be a little bit overpowered. It might eventually get passed. I don't know if it will or not. Um, but I actually did not come up with this blitz. Now, um, for those of you guys that like to play Madden Ultimate Team, one of, a lot of people ask me, you know, where do I go to learn about MUT? How do I learn to get better at MUT? How do I understand this? People that are getting in, new to the mode. And I always tell them to go check out Gut Fox's YouTube channel. Gut Fox, in my opinion, is one of the most. Um, I just think he's an amazing uh, community member, um, just a really great leader in the Madden community. I personally have learned so much from him, um, not just this season, but before, um, about you know making more coins, uh, buying the right players, understanding what players actually are effective. He's taught me about how the ratings work in game and what they actually mean. Um, he's just an expert at Madden. He's a really, really good lab, uh, a really, really good player. And I uh, actually came across a video that he did uh, on his channel that is breaking down this blitz. And so uh, I wanted to break this down for my subscribers because I've been trying to get this to work um, for, a, for a, a hot second. Because to be quite honest with you, he showed me the blitz, or he showed his ent entire uh, YouTube community the blitz. You can go to his channel and see his breakdown. Uh, just type in Gut Fox, Nickel 335 Odd Blitz. In my opinion, it's the best blitz in the game. He actually claimed that a month or so ago he was this was going to be the meta blitz. I actually saw one of his live streams where he was running this, and it was just very, very effective. So all the credit in the world goes to him for finding this blitz. This is an amazing pressure. This is actually very similar to a pressure that I actually ran back in Madden. I believe it was Madden um, 15. It might have been Madden 16. Um, but it was right uh, around this, and it was the same formation. It was a 335 odd. And uh, it was also, uh, if you remember, 335 odd was really, really good in Madden 19 as well. It's always been a really good defensive formation. So we're going to break down this blitz. Now, there's one key thing that you need to understand about this blitz the guy that you want to be coming in on the pressure. So you're going to be sending, um, you know, maybe three people, four people, five people, right? The guy that you want to be coming in on the pressure, the guy that's going to be coming free, it's absolutely critical that he must have less than seven or less than 80 um, agility. So 79 agility or lower is the key. So you see here is a Darius Smith is my best pass rusher on the Packers, and he has 73 agility, which is under that threshold of 79. You could also do this with Rashawn Gary, but you'll see that I can't do this with Preston Smith. One other thing that's really, really important, we're going to show you why when we jump into the tip. This blitz is for all pro. It's not necessarily for all Madden. I'm not saying it can't work in all Madden. I'm just saying I have had a lot more success with this blitz in all pro than I have had it uh, success with it in all Madden. Now, what obviously the Madden Ultimate Team head to head is played on all pro, and so you can definitely, you know, uh, you can definitely use that uh, tactic in that mode uh, because of it being on all pro. Okay, so all we're gonna do as far as um, coaching adjustments, all that stuff, you don't really have to. I mean, you really don't have to do anything. Um, you can do whatever you want really with this. Um, I would recommend turning auto flip off, and I would start in a baseline look just to make sure everything is set up before you go into some kind of man aligning of the play. But the play is the nickel 335 odd, and you can honestly come out in any play that you want. And what we're going to do is we're going to flip it, and we're going to put Zadarius Smith right in this little spot. And then the rest of the guys, I like to personally um, put two linebackers on the outside with Kenny Clark, and then I'm going to put uh, typically uh, safeties in at the linebacker position because we want to make sure we're getting those really solid animations. Now, what's really cool about this is this can actually be found in the New York Giants uh, defense, and the New York Giants defense is probably the top defensive playbook that people are using in competitive Madden. Why? Because you have all of the popular nickel formations. The only nickel formation you don't have, and this is why I personally uh, don't run the Giants playbook, is because you don't have the nickel 335 normal. In my opinion, the nickel 335 normal is absolutely critical, especially with the way the game plays. 
Um, but what you can do in MUT is um, I actually have in MUT, um, you can put a strip specialist in that position and you'll see you'll get a lot of sack fumbles. But anyway, we'll just jump into this real quick. Now you can do it from any of the plays. The play that Gut Fox recommends doing it from is the Sam Mike 1 or the Sam Mike 3 press. We'll show you both of those and we'll also show you some other stuff that you can do as well. Now right now I'm currently playing on all Madden, so I just want you to know that. Um, and da -da -da -da, We're going to come just in a spread set right here. Now, uh, what we're going to do is we're just going to pinch, or I'm sorry, we're going to spread our line, we're going to spread our linebackers, and then we're going to basically press coverage, man line and press coverage. And as you can see, all we're going to do is we're going to contain rush. Now, at the snap of the ball, what you're going to notice is that Darius Smith with that slow agility, you see he gets picked up. Now, the reason that he's getting picked up is because we're playing on all Madden difficulty. I'm going to literally show you what's going to happen. I'm going to pause the game. I'm going to go into uh, settings right here, and I'm going to put the... Um, the game options to set to all pro okay I'm gonna set it to all pro on both of my controllers and you're gonna see the difference that it's going to occur for the blitzes some blitzes work differently on all Madden and on all pro this is one of those uh, blitzes and you'll see on all pro this blitz is basically unstoppable I went up against somebody that did this to me um, the other day and this is just insane how effective it is so now I'm playing on all pro and we're just going to call timeout. We're going to go out and come back in just so we reset everything nice and clean for you. And uh, I'll just come out in the bunch, uh, gun bunch, halfback, uh, offset here, double post, one of everybody's favorite play. And uh, what you'll see here, again, nickel three through five, odd. We're going to flip it and we're going to run Sam Mike one. And all we're going to do is we are going to basically spread line, spread linebackers, and then you might need to press your coverage. Uh, I like to just man line and press coverage right here. And then we're just going to keep it contained. And now watch what's going to happen on that left side. You'll see he's going to run right around the tackle, and he's going to get instant pressure at the quarterback, as you can see right there. So that one little – that's literally the only, only shift. We went just to all pro, all, all Madden. Um, you can't run it on all Madden, but you can run it on all pro. And, then, and you can run it on all Madden. It does work a little bit better once you actually get into a game. But I have found that all pro, it's much, much more consistent on that, Okay. Now, I just want to show you the extent that we can go with this pressure. And again, if you want to get exclusive tips, high-level tips like this one, um, I have a great big nickel over G defense. I have a nickel 335 wide defense, uh, gun bunch offense, and all that stuff in my text message membership. So if you want those access to those videos, those videos are all uh, pretty much over an hour long. I think we've released a total of six videos to our text message members. All of them are over uh, 45 minutes to an hour and a half long. Uh, they're really, really high-level stuff that we really dive in deep so if you want to deep dive on some of those money money schemes money plays and really good blitzing concepts um all you gotta do is just shoot me a text my number is 812-216-3644 just shoot me a text let me know that you want to get those videos and then i'll shoot you the playlist that has all of those videos in them all right so the next thing is uh we're just going to show you a basic uh, rush here and I actually think this is really interesting so what you're gonna notice here is I'm just gonna run a cover two man blitz right here and all I'm going to do is I'm just gonna spread my linebacker so I'm not gonna spread my line and I'm gonna QB contain watch what happens at the snap of the ball you see this time he gets picked up now what I like to do whenever something starts to work in the blitzing world is I like to kind of experiment and see what are what are everything that I could do to make this uh, continue to work how many people can I drop in coverage how many people can I you know do whatever with so here we're gonna just spread our line we're not gonna spread the linebackers notice that by just spreading the line it's still not gonna come in but notice and I actually think this is true of this blitz the fewer people that you blitz it actually works better so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to Tampa 2 and we're just going to spread our line, okay? We're just going to spread our line, QB contain rush, and then from here we're going to drop Smith into a zone, Clark into a spy, and we're going to bluff blitz that right of screen, um, uh, da -da -da -da. bluff blitz Gary right here, okay? We're just going to bluff blitz him. And what you'll see at the snap of the ball, that little purple zone is actually going to help widen that blitz angle, and as you see, this is going to be a one-man blitz coming in off the edge. Now, what I think is really powerful about this, literally all I did was I just spread the line. I did not spread the linebackers. I just spread the line. So QB contain, zone out this guy, spy this guy, bluff blitz Gary on the outside. You'll see he's just going to kind of stand into a coverage. And what you'll see is this is going to consistently just torch it, as you can see right there. Now, what you might do, um, what you could also do from this, really quickly, let me just show you, is 
you could try this. Zone out everybody. We're going to zone everybody out. We just have one QB spy. Watch what's going to happen. You're going to see the blitz is still going to continue to come in. Very easy. We're sending one person at the quarterback, guys. We're sending one person at the quarterback, and we're getting instant pressure off the edge. Gut Fox is a genius for coming up with those blitz. I mean, all the credit in the world goes to him. The only reason I'm sharing this with you guys is because I just wanted to make sure my subscribers knew about this, okay? I'm not trying to, you know, toot my own horn for coming up with this. I'm just expanding on a concept that Gut Fox already put out to the community, okay? So all the credit in the world goes to him for this video. But anyways, what I want to show you here really quickly, uh, I think it actually works a little bit better if you just spread your line. You don't do anything else. You just spread your line, and you actually zone everybody out. So we're literally just sending one person, snap of the ball, and look, I mean, I you just, I mean, it's just ridiculously insane how good this blitz is. Now, what I want to do uh, for the last little bit of this video is I want to show you some different pickup techniques that your opponent can employ. One of those things that they can do is they could block the, um, or they could basically ID that defensive, um, that outside linebacker. So I'm going to ID him, and still send five, five, still send five people out on a route. And at the snap of the ball, what you're going to see is he's still going to come in free. Still going to come in free, completely untouched. Okay? So ID does not work. Okay? So now let me show you another tactic that I'm going to do. Um, whoops, I did not mean to do that. Do not spread your – I personally don't think it works. I think it works better if you don't spread your linebackers because what you're going to basically do is you're going to use her. You can use her this guy and effectively drop them in, and you can kind of cover in this – in this in this area but you don't even have to do that if you don't want to do that okay but anyways um so now what i want to do is i want to show you slide protecting to the left and iding him so i'm gonna slide protect to the left and i'm gonna id that guy on the side of the field and what you'll see here is this time it actually does pick up the one man pressure it does pick up the one man pressure now let me just run that run that back one more time and just show you um because i want to make sure we get an accurate um, portrayal here so let me make sure I get these guys uh, zoned off properly. And uh, I'm going to ID him, and I'm going to slide to the left and snap the ball. And what you'll see here is he still comes in free. Okay? He still comes in free. That's the key to me, that sliding left and IDing him does not pick this blitz up. Does not pick this blitz up. Okay? Um, now let me show you another thing that you could potentially try to do. Right? There's, you know, sometimes it, when you try to work your pass protection, and learn how to pick up these blitzes, you have to understand that it's trial and error, right? We're just gonna try things and see. So now what we're gonna do is we're going to slide the protect to the left and we're not gonna ID him, okay? Slide protect to the left, do not ID him, and you see he's still gonna come in right off the edge. Very easy. Instant pressure, one man at the quarterback, okay? So now what we're going to do is we are going to, um, we are going to slide protect to the right and ID him and see how that goes. So slide right, ID him, snap of the ball, and oh my goodness, it worked. That's what I'm talking about, right? It's just trial and error. So that works. So now what we're going to do, we're going to repeat it, and we're going to try it again. We're going to see if this works to stop this blitz. This is, like I said, I think this is the best blitz in the game. It's very, um, it's very um, counterintuitive, uh, in my opinion, and we might have messed up the blitz here, but um, it's very counterintuitive, in my opinion, to slide protect to the right. But we'll see if this works again. So we're going to slide protect to the right, ID the mic on that left side. And you'll see here, you know, we are able to have time in the pocket. He does, the guard does slide over and pick him up. And we're able to, to have time to basically make a read. So that might have been just because of bad alignment. Let's try it one more time here. So we're going to spread the line, contain, drop everybody in coverage on the line of scrimmage. And then we're going to slide protect to the right, and then we're going to ID that mic. Snap the ball, step up. You see he does come in again. So now we know, okay, you can't slide protect this blitz. You can't slide right, you can't slide left, you can't ID. So now the only last resort that we have is to basically slide protect to the uh, right side. So we're going to slide uh, da -da -da -da. on the offensive side. We're going to slide to the right, snap the ball, and he does pick him up better right so far sliding to the right has been the most effective way to pick up this blitz which the funny part about that is that it's super super counterintuitive to what most people are going to do most people aren't going to want to you know aren't going to think oh he's coming off the left edge you know what i should do i should slide to the right right they're not going to do that that's that's doesn't really make sense and as you can see it's not 100 consistent it's not 100 consistent you're still able to get the, the the pressure in there 
So really, the only way that you can stop this is I have to block a running back. Um, I pretty much have to block a running back to um, to stop this blitz. And you'll notice that what I can do with this defense is I can put my um, I can put one of my I could basically um, at the snap of the ball. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna block this running back. I'm gonna ID him, obviously. And what you'll notice is at the snap of the ball here, I'm just gonna click my right stick in, and it's gonna send the spy. And what you'll notice here, and this is really really critical, if you see someone block a running back against you with this, this is a genius little tactic. Okay, all you're gonna do is click the right joystick in. Um, if you see something like this, you're gonna click the right stick in. Watch the running back. Watch what he does. When as soon as you click that right stick in, I don't know why this happens. But as soon as I click that right joystick in, that left side backer is coming right down the A-gap. As you can see, he's coming right down, right there. The running back decides, oh, I need to pick this guy up, this middle blitzer, and it leaves this guy on the left side wide open to blitz your quarterback and sack him. Two-man rush with a spy. Genius. I mean, just a great, uh, great lab work on this. So, very, very good uh, blitz. Um, now, what what you know people are going to do... Um, and, and what people basically have to do is they essentially have to flip their bunch, okay? And what you're going to see here is if we try to set the same thing up with the bunch flipped, you're going to see it's a little bit more difficult, a little bit more challenging for this blitz to come in. You see he's going to kind of get caught up, and now they're going to be able to basically pummel it, and they're going to be able to throw, you know, throw as much as they want on you with a flipped bunch. Basically, if you have a tight end on the left side of the screen, um, so you could do this from multiple formations, but all I'm going to do is just put the tight end here and, and basically I'm just going to put him on anything. Could be an out, could be a quick out. It doesn't really matter. As long as you have a tight end over, over that guy, he's basically going to act kind of like a chip block would in the real NFL, but essentially he's going to get a little, little rub on that uh, outside rush right here. He's going to get a little rub there, which is going to force him to come underneath and give you plenty of time in the pocket um, that you can you know, be able to do that. Uh, well with now one thing that you can do uh, from the defensive side and this is why lab work is so important in my opinion again we're going to use that same tactic we're just going to basically um, spy that um, we're going to basically just simply spy uh, da -da -da -da, this guy uh, this 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 backer right here okay and we're going to do the same setup so we're going to take this over here you know, basically just, you know, put these guys on different routes, right, just to try to test some things out. And what you'll find with this is at the snap of the ball, you're going to just click your spy. So snap the ball, click my spy in, and you see that it's going to now come in again. So with the spy, you've added another layer to the blitz that's going to help it continue to improve. So uh, in my opinion, this is the blitz, best blitz in Madden right now. Um, and in my opinion, the best way to stop it, honestly, um, is to basically slide protect to the left and run a trips left look in which you are, um, you know, basically, uh, basically just running quick routes to the left side of the screen to basically give that natural rub. Run a tight end on the left side of the screen has been the best thing that I've found uh, to combat this blitz, but this blitz is by far the best blitz in Madden, in my opinion. You literally get instant pressure sending two people at the quarterback, um, you know, it's pretty dang good. And so shout out to Gut Fox. It's a great, great blitz. Um, there's some other things you can do to combat this blitz, but we got to get in the lab and kind of work through those a little bit. Uh, Got, or, uh, Gut Fox gave a little bit of the counters on his video, but basically he said the same thing that I just said. Um, basically flip your bunch, run, run a tight end on that left side. Because one of the things you'll see is um, let's just flip both formations. Okay, let's just flip both formations. I just want to show you this. Uh, just so you can see this. Uh, but what you'll see here is if we were to try to do the same thing on the left side, you'll notice that um, you don't get the same pressure. It, it, it's not the same. It's literally, for whatever reason, and this has been very, very true of defense pretty much all year long, uh, blitzes work better on the left, the left tackle than on the right tackle. That's kind of been the general uh, consensus uh, this season. So if I were to run this and just flip the play, because you're thinking, well, if they flip, you flip, and you could just play that game with them. Um, it's not exactly, uh, not exactly the case here. But what you'll see, so we're set up right here. Snap of the ball. We're gonna click that right stick in, and you see 
the blitz is completely picked up. I have all day in the world to throw, and I can easily just, you know, hit reads that, that lays are open. Now, granted, you have really good coverage, really good coverage. You can do all kinds of things. You can do this from man. You can do it from zone. You can do it from anything in this formation. It's a nice little rush that you can add in. There's other blitzes as well from 3 5 odd that are going to help you kind of counteract this. For example, like if they are running, you know, if they're running flipped bunch on this and you go to Tampa 2 and you run this right here, obviously you can still run that edge pressure uh, on that right side. But the other thing that you could do is you could send this slot corner right off this right side here. You know, maybe send um, maybe send this right side backer um, as well on a little five-man pressure. Snap of the ball, send your spy, and uh, you'll see you get some nice A-gap pressure from that QB spy on that right side. So uh, there's some things that you can do and add into this. But anyways, guys, I just wanted to get this blitz out there to you. I've been meaning to get this video done for a while. I just haven't had uh, opportunity to put it all together. Uh, and then I faced this morning uh, playing mutt, and I was like, man, I just need to get this out to my guys. So anyways, that is the nickel 335 odd pressure. My opinion is probably the best pressure in Madden 21 right now. Um, this For this one reason, I'm actually really considering shifting to the New York Giants playbook. I'm trying to figure out a way to do the same pressure from other formations. If I could get the same pressure out of nickel 335 wide or out of nickel 335 normal um, or even out of dollar 326, it would be amazing. But I haven't been able to quite get there yet. I think it's literally just 335 odd. And it's the other thing is it's just all pro, at least for me. I haven't seen this work that well on all matted. I've seen it work really, really well on all pro. So, um, again, you need under that under 79 agility to be able to run it. If he has over 79 agility, he's not going to be able to come in. And I would highly recommend running this only on all pro. If you run it on all Madden, I think you're going to be sadly disappointed. It's not going to work exactly the same. But, again, Mutt head-to-head -head seasons is all pro. So, you know, if you play Mutt, that's a great blitz to be able to add into already um, a really, really good defense in the dime uh, 146, the nickel 245 double A gap, all the things that the Giants playbook offers. Um, and we're actually working on a New York Giants defensive ebook uh, right now that we're going to be able to come out with hopefully uh, in the next two weeks um, to be able to add to your repertoire. We're going to break down everything within that ebook um, that really just is taking the Madden community by storm. It's kind of the defensive playbook of choice by pretty much every pro player um, in the Madden community, unless you run nickel through Three, five, which I personally still prefer nickel 335 normal just because of the balance that it allows your defense to have but uh, anyways guys that's it for the video if you have any questions about it shoot me a text message and um, if you want to get those uh, additional schemes shoot me a text message also if you haven't checked out Guts Fo Gut Fox's channel he has some great content on Mutt he obviously has some great content on gameplay too he's a very seasoned Madden player so he has a really good I for what is good versus what is bad. He's a guy that I really look up to and look to for advice on the game. So if you haven't checked his channel out, literally just type in YouTube Gut Fox. He'll come up. I think he has three YouTube channels. So just a great, great resource, especially for Mutt uh, material. And he streams a ton. Um, so you'll be able to get access to uh, his content as well if you haven't already checked him out. But other than that, guys, we'll be streaming tonight at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern time. Hopefully you enjoyed the videos that we provided for you today. And uh, we'll see you guys on stream.